Braxton Family Values, darling. <clears throat> okay, this was another funny episode. On this particular episode, Tracy went to Wyoming, darling. And, you know, ain't nothing in Wyoming, child, that I, that I know of. Um, but you see farms and, 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 you know, grass and cactuses and trees and coyotes and child, I don't know. Ain't no, I don't know too many black folks in Wyoming. Oh, I come from Wyoming. Where is that? But yeah, um, a child, so she arrived there, Tracy. They legit arrived at a, at a dude farm. Um, which I don't really know what that means, but whatever. They arrive at the farm. Um, we have Tony there. Um, he is the creative director of um, the Black Cowboy Whiskey um, that Tracy is the ambassador of. Um, I remember Tony lounging with Tony, darling. I remember Tony. Um, so then all of a sudden, Phaedra Park, she arrives. I was just like, Lord, Phaedra going to milk this show for everything that it's worth, darling. So Phaedra came on, child. She said she felt like her and um, Chloe have really bonded. Her, not Chloe. Her and um, Tracy have really bonded. And so, you know, she got her peoples on it. And they thought that she was going to be a good fit for this. So, you know, they're talking, you know, having moments. And then all of a sudden, Kim Whitley shows up. Y'all know Kim Whitley. Hilarious. She reminds me of my Aunt Brenda. Um... And, you know, uh, they're talking and having moments. Um, then, who comes up is the one and only New York, Tiffany Pollard. Y'all know New York, child. <sighs> Delicious, you look like a man. <laughs> Let's pick that chin up and act like you have some class. You know, boots. Was it boots? Because I don't really remember you. You didn't really count. Pick a wall, pick a wall, pick a wall. Yes, I am, and I'm fucking fabulous. Y'all know New York. And then the next 15, you know, it's an inner cry, bitch. My heart is crying. Y'all know New York. And, you know, I love New York and the whole gig. We love New York. I, New York will forever and always be my favorite reality star ever in history and life. Period. So, um, anyway, she arrives, and then all of a sudden, you know, they was just like, what a man at y'all. You know, they all getting along for the most part. New York is being extra, you know, taking over the show, pretty much like, of course, New York would do. Um, and uh, this guy named Derek from Circus Olay, he ends up coming up. I don't know where they got him from, um, but he's a good looking guy. This black dude. Um, then all of a sudden, they kept saying a movie star gonna come, child. And, and um, New York said Denzel. And, you know, she was just counting up, saying all kinds of crazy stuff. Who came was Flavor Flav, child. New York, y'all know there would be no New York if it wasn't for Flavor Flav and the Flavor of Love. So <coughs> she came. She, Hi, Flav. Flav. <laughs> Flav. Y'all know New York, she just melts and turns into silly putty chair. Um, when Flav comes around, Flav looks, you know, like he always looked like a creature. Um, but Flav is very likable. Um, he has dreads now, so I don't know if they're real. I don't know what the hell is going on. They look like mud. I don't know. So, they're doing their whole thing. And, um, let's see. So everybody's there. They had a scene where so everybody's supposed to be, you know, getting into this whole black cowboy whiskey situation. Um, they ended up having a scene with um uh they went horseback riding and that was funny with Kim Whitley. <laughs> um, you know, because you know, when you're on a horse you have to spread your legs. She was just like child, I would have had sex and stuff. The cowboy, um, he t ended up taking their phone because you know they're not supposed to have their phone. Um, it it was just you know it was a funny 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 episode. Um, actually Tracy she met up with Tony at one point in the in the show and they talked and Tony was just like, "Hi Tracy, how are you?" Tracy was just like, "I'm fine, Tony. Um, how what you been up to? You know, just this whole Photoshop thing. 
but I want to know what's really going on with you and the girls. And Tracy was just like, um, you know, it's, it's the differences and it's a lot that's been going on. You know, Tr Tony says that she's separated herself from the girls, um, you know, on purpose because she's been working, but she separates herself from the girls anyway. Um, so we're not we're gonna sit up here and try to act like it's just because she's been working. So, so you know, you feel like being bothered anyway. Um, so sh then she actually had a scene, uh, well, not with Tawanda, she called Tawanda on the phone. Tawanda picked up, Tawanda was just like, um, well, you got Tracy's side, so let me give you the real tea because me and Tracy got the actual tea. And Tony was just like, okay, well, I'm gonna have a conversation with you and Trina, Tawanda. We're going to leave Tamar out of it because, you know, it's just too much going on. We don't need all that. So I'm going to talk to you first, then I'm going to talk to Monster, which is what they call Tamar. Um, so, you know, they, they did their whole thing, and um, it's just very interesting. You know, Ta Tawanda, she seems to relish in mess um, when it's not hers, her own. You know, nobody knows what's going on with Tawanda because she won't say anything, won't nobody pressure her. Uh, about it, you know, so I don't know. Tawanda, Tawanda holds all the secrets in the family, I'm sure. Um, so that's why I don't nobody come for her or nothing. I'm ready to see this Ayala Van Zandt episode with the Braxtons and to see which Braxton told um, Tracy that they're dead to them. Ain't that awful to say to your sister? Um, so I'm ready to see that. Um, what else happened, y'all? For the most part, it was just a funny episode. It was just a funny episode. Um, just a lot of, you know, random um, stuff. You know, Phaedra, she has a lot of one-liner show. Super duper funny. Is there anything else I want to talk about? Okay, so they alluded to the fact that um, that maybe Flavor Flav and New York slept together because they did not show up for the, um, for the uh, horse riding trip at first. But New York ended up coming, and Flavor Flav ended up coming on a horse and carriage. That's when they took their phones and said, you know, y'all got to, you know, they had to um, cattle the, the cows, you know, get them settled and get them, you know, in, in, into the little part of the fence or whatever where they needed to go into. So rattle them up, rattle them up. So Flav arrives on the carriage. He says he can't go horseback riding because he's elderly. He got elderly people problems, which I understand. So he actually pulls Flavor, he actually pulls uh, New York off to the side and talks to her. You know, New York is just very flirty and all this kind of stuff. And he actually said that my woman at home is very uncomfortable with our relationship right now. She's very uncomfortable with the fact that you're here and, you know, you just need to chill on a lot of that stuff. New York was just like, I feel that Flav is a coward. He's being a coward right now because he, he's denying his feelings for me right now. And he know he feels it, but but I'm going to chill. New York, she was just, a, you know, I don't know if New York is still with the guy from Next 15. I liked him. Um, he was her load, though. He didn't let her get away with nothing. And, you know, New York likes a little control or whatever. But she has this connection with Flav. And, you know, New York, nobody knows reality TV like New York. So who knows if this is actually a thing or if it's not. But, you know, he told New York to chill the hell out. And she did, you know. They also gave a great toast um, when they went to go eat. They gave a great um, toast and, and, and um, some words of wisdom to Tracy to just do you. Your family is family. We'll try to repair it, but just do you for right now, you know. And, you know, you all right. So, pretty good episode, I guess. I don't know how long they're going to be on the ranch, you know, all of them together. I don't know what's going on, but we'll see. We'll see. With that said, I'm Mr. Chillock. Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at Ace Kings World on Instagram and Twitter. At Ace Kings World 89 on Snapchat. Chase King on Facebook. All that good stuff. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Stay black and stay tuned. Bye. Yeah. Woo!